What's going on? Aleem here, and I just found a breakthrough voice assistant API that I really want to show you. So a lot of you know that I'm building a AI sales coach app in Flutter. Um, I'm using Flutterflow to build out my MVP, but I just came across this really cool technology called Vapi or Vapi or Vapi.ai. It's a voice AI for developers, and I've been looking for an API to integrate uh, to create voice assistant apps for a long time. I think it's something that Flutterflow and Flutterflow builders generally are building right now. And so anything that can make the developer's life easy to create voice assistant apps, I think is absolutely worthwhile. Um, so I found this API called Vapi, it's really, really cool. So you can try it directly from the homepage, but um, I'm just gonna jump right into the dashboard and show you what it's like. So essentially you can create like your own assistance and it's essentially an abstraction layer over ChatGPT that allows you to create assistants, but each one of your assistants can have like very specific prompts and very specific roles. So the one that I'm working on right now is called the sales role playing assistant. And uh, I'm kind of, you know, testing it out based on like, you know, the enrollment specialists at Ambitious Labs who are enrolling builders into the program. So, you know, I'm saying, can my app be built? I want to build a Tinder for dogs. Like I'm trying to uh, replicate like what a prospect would tell one of our sales team and then check this out. So I give it a system prompt like, you are a prospect on the phone with the sales rep. You are being sold an app development bootcamp. You're skeptical of it. Uh, you're skeptical of if you have the ability to acquire the skills to do it yourself. You eventually will buy after doing the proper due diligence. You're a busy mom who's tight on time but serious about building an app. You can set your provider here, which could be OpenAI or any of the different um, providers that they offer. You can choose the GPT model. Um, and so I'll, I'll explain to you like how they actually have created a um, really cool pricing model and business on top of this. You can do a knowledge base. So I could essentially upload files and I probably will do that. Um, I'll upload like our entire dreams into apps curriculum, the offer and all the context that it needs to know. And then you have the same type of settings that you have with like traditional generative AI, like the temperature and the max tokens. And you can also detect the emotion. One cool thing is the cost that they've done here, right? So the way that the cost is broken down is they pass you on a fixed five cent per minute cost. And then they bill you the cost of um, running these various um, AI services like GPT-40 Mini, um, STT Deepgram, and then, you know, 11 labs, like however uh, it's choosing to transcribe the text to voice. So this is nine cents a minute, which is definitely expensive, but the app that I'm going to build, I'm going to make sure that I price this cost in, and I'm probably going to do a usage-based pricing model so that I can have a good margin on top of this. The cool thing about AI apps is that everybody knows how expensive it is. So when you ask, you know, when you demand price upfront, you demand payment, people just already know like, oh, it's an AI app. It's gonna cost money. So um, you can talk with the assistant. Can my app be built? I wanna build a Tinder for dogs. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the technology stack that we use at Ambitious Labs, Dreams Into Apps, um, has supported many dating apps and dating apps are actually quite simple to build. You simply just need, you know, a matching uh, user interface and then you need a backend that can match people together. But can I ask you, you know, have you built a website before using a drag and drop builder like Squarespace or Wix? I haven't built a website before. I'm a busy mom, so I haven't really had the time to dive into that type of thing. I'm just worried if I can really learn to build an app on my own. It feels like a lot to take on. Yeah, I mean, tell me a bit more about what your day-to-day -day life looks like, you know. What do you do uh, throughout the week? Uh, we can work together to figure out how we can fit this journey into your daily routine. Well, my days are pretty packed. I juggle taking care of my kids, managing household chores, and sometimes I work part-time. You get the point. This thing is really damn smart. And so I'm really excited to build on top of this. One of the limitations I'm seeing is that um, there is a Flutter SDK, which means if you were building in Flutterflow, you have to export the code out of Flutterflow. And what do you think I'm doing right now? I literally just exported my code out of Flutterflow and I'm gonna be spending the weekend um, trying to integrate this Vapi Flutter SDK into my Flutterflow project. And if I can get it to work, then honestly, I'm off to the races and I'm gonna build something sweet. Um, but overall, like Vapi seems really cool. I'll leave a link in the description below to try it out. They give you $10 free credit. Um, and then hopefully I can crack the code on how to use this with Flutterflow and we can build some sweet stuff. So I'll keep you posted. Definitely check out Vapi if you're building a voice assistant app. I'd love to hear in the comments what else you guys are working on. And if you're building on the weekends, let me know. It's like 1130 at night um, and I'm building because why not? Friday night, I don't really drink. I don't really like to go out and party. I just like to build stuff. Um, my community keeps me really, really happy and I never really feel like I'm alone um, because every time I jump into Discord, there's always somebody online working. So um, I currently am alone.
but I don't really feel like it. So um, building has just been a lot more pleasurable these days. It used to be really hard when I was working my nine to five and um, just like trying to build to quit my job. But that was a lonely time because all I really had were you know people at work. And then at night it was just like me, my girlfriend and my family. So things are a lot more fun these days. I'm excited that all this technology is just breaking through. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment. I'd be happy to answer. Wish me luck. I'll talk to you guys soon.